All right, Joe Casey and Deanna Casey with KC Aviation. Here's your pro tip for the week. All right. So one of the things we see with our turbine clients that come in is the occasional FOD damage that they get to their engine. So what we want to talk about specifically with the jet props but is how to avoid FOD damage when you're on the ground. Joe, you want to talk about that? Yeah, well, let's, let's go to the jet prop, but let's start with the Meridian. You know, okay. if, if you look at a Meridian, a Meridian has an intake and it also has a port in the back where the air comes in, gets thrown to the outside, and then it goes out these little holes in the back. Mm -hmm. Those little holes in the back are the problem because the holes in the back can also be intakes under certain scenarios. But if you look at a Meridian, a Meridian has a screen at the very back. So the air comes in, gets deflected. Some of the air goes up into the engine, but there's a screen there that stops that. Jet props don't have that screen. And that's the, one of the problems. So Meridian has a much more robust intake system as far as it just being effective in terms of FOD because you have that screen. But it's not very maneuverable, meaning you can't make any adjustments to it whatsoever. Right. But in a jet prop, you can. So in a Meridian, you just got to hope you don't get FOD in the most part. And you have no prop control. But in a jet prop, you do. You have an ice door that whenever you close the ice door, or actually, if you consider you got ice door on, ice door on off. On or off. Yeah, yes, using, the, using the right terminology. So when the ice door is in the off position, it means you're not deflecting air coming in. And it also means the back doors are now closed. So those where the air can come into the backside through the back doors is when the ice door is on because now it deflects the air that's coming in mm -hmm. and opens the back door so the air gets pushed down and then that air gets pumped out to the back some of the air goes into the engine but the the weighty articles can't maneuver that bend in that so they're going out those side back doors exactly mm -hmm. so so where are we getting the fight incidents with all the turboprops, but especially the jet prop. And the answer is two places, two places that we're getting that. Taxing? Well, and that's not the major place, but okay. but yes, it, you can get it there. But the big place is on landing. So wh whenever you come into land, people are going into heavy reverse, meaning they're just, I don't know if it's showing off or just, they just love going into reverse really heavily. But all that's doing is taking all this air and particles and throwing them up in front of the airplane that you now get to ingest. That's, so That's right, because when you're in reverse, the airflow is going the opposite direction and you're rolling right through correct. what you just threw out. So you really, I mean, reverse ought to be used lightly. And if you go into heavy reverse, it's because you're either in practice mode, in other words, you want to see what it's like, or you need it. You don't want to roll off the end of the runway. But reverse, otherwise, if people that go into heavy reverse all the time, all they're doing is throwing stuff in front of their airplane. So you're saying if you've got a nice long runway and ample space, let the thing slow down naturally and transition to your braking rather than using heavy and, reverse. And stop trying to make the midfield turnoff. This is the other one. Is everybody's trying to make the midfield turnoff well, nowadays. Well, because everybody sitting at the airport cafe is judging that landing by where you get off the runway, right? right? Well, yes, and that's a bad judgment. <laughs> it is. It, I agree, but something, I, I can't tell you how many people, especially here in Lufkin, when they come in, that we see them, you know, jamming on the brakes, putting on the heavy reverse, trying to make that midfield turnoff. If they just let the stupid airplane go off to the end of the runway, then number one, they don't risk that thought event by going to that deep reverse. Okay, so number one is deep reverse. Here's number two. On a jet prop, it's whenever you shut the engine down. The checklist on a jet prop tells you to go into feather. Okay, yes. no, your prop is in flat pitch. And if you go, if you take a prop lever and go into feather, you're feathering the prop instantly with the engine running and all the debris around that engine is now thrown up in the air right there when you're sitting on the ground with the brakes on. All this debris gets, and if that ice door is in the on position, now you have the potential for this dusty debris to be sucked up through the back door, which is now there, now open because we have the ice door in the on position. So what we're teaching now is if you have a jet prop is to turn, shut the condition lever off. Now when the engine is spooling down, wait about three, five seconds, I don't even care, 
And now take the prop and go into feather. And if you forget to move the prop into feather, that's fine. It's going to do it all by itself anyway within a couple minutes. That's right, because you require oil pressure to make the prop go from flat pitch to feather. Yeah. So it's going to go there eventually. But I used to tell people, I, I, the way I train it is condition lever off and then just wait while the engine slows down. Go ahead and feather it after the engine has begun to slow down. It's no longer sucking air up inside there. So when it goes to feather and you throw the d debris up in the air, it's just not going to, there's not going to be much effect because there's not a suction happening that's sucking this foreign object damage up into the engine. Right. So, uh, so just to recap, on landing and heavy reverse, on shutdown, and then I would add uh, taxi with your ice doors on as well to prevent any advertent flood ingestion on your taxi route that may not be as improved or cleared as your runways at your local airport. Yeah, you know, this is not just the jet prop. If you look at the jet prop, the TBM, the King Airs, um, you know, we, we taxi a King Air around. We're taxiing the King Air around the ground with the ice door in the on position. Same with the TBM. Uh, you do have the potential of something come up the back side in those back doors, which are open with the ice door in the on position. But as long as you're rolling forward and the props are throwing air backwards, the chances of you throwing something in the back door is just absolutely remote. It's when you are going into feather or reverse or you're doing something to disturb that. that what about those who choose to taxi uh, slightly in beta uh, so as to save their brakes a little bit. In beta, are they still at risk for throwing that flight out? Not really. And here's and here's the reason why is that if you look at a prop, a prop is twisted. So there's not a place where you're making forward thrust or aft thrust. You can, as far as it's not marked on the on the quadrant or anything. But I tell you the best way to listen for that spot where you're in the in the we're a true neutral position is to just listen to the prop. And this is going to sound weird, but when it goes like that, Did you do that again? <laughs> when it's doing that, when you listen to that, that is the position where you are in true neutral thrust and, and you're not throwing anything in front of you. So you might be in beta, which is okay because you're not taxiing super fast, but you're not throwing stuff in front of you. It's whenever it goes back into you, get to the whiny, 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 and you go continue to go back, now you actually are in reverse. You're throwing things in front of the airplane. Okay. Well, there you have it. Can folks. you make that sound? I, I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. I'm terrible at sound effects. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the big one is jet props, shut the engine down, then go into feather. That's right. that's the real one. And on all turboprops, deep reverse, just if it's not needed, don't go there. I agree completely. If I've got a runway roll out and I'll save my short field landings for when I'm out flying my smaller Cessna or Piper Cut. That's right. And remember, the, the brakes are more effective the, the, the slower you go. Reverse is more effective the faster you go. So right after you touch down, if you're going to go into beta reverse, go then. But later, in, if you got to make that taxiway, make that taxiway with braking. Of course, now you're just wearing your tires out. Might as well roll off to the end of the runway or further down. It's a better way to do it. Absolutely. Uh, reverse is always more effective above about 50, 40 or 50 knots. There you go. And there's your pro tip for the week.